Hello and good afternoon. I'm Karen Cotellis Ria with Real Estate One. Welcome to Karen's Corner. Um, today we have in front of our glowing fireplace, um, we have our guest and we have Jeff Miller with Primerica Financial Services. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, what we do is every week in our chat room here, we um, I, I like to promote local business people. And Jeff is a very well-trusted um, business person and financial um, advisor in the Rochester community. Um, you actually live here, don't you? Yes, I'm a local resident for okay. uh, 15 years now. All right, it goes by fast. It does. Yeah, it's a great place to live. Did you go to the parade over the weekend or watch it on? Well, I guess it's not on TV anymore, but, uh, or at least hear about it. I heard about oh, it, yes, okay. yes. I was yeah. following along. Yeah, I did not, I was not able to go personally, but it's a it's a great event. I've been years past. So. Yeah, yeah, we actually, my team and I and uh, family, we were able to um, actually sponsor Santa Claus, so that was mm -hmm. kind of fun. Um, and we were in the bleachers uh, during the parade and wore our nice warm hats and um, it was pretty good weather so I can't complain there have been some years where it was pretty right. chilly yeah. and um, I haven't walked in the parade in many many years um, but my kids were in uh, for for cheer and football and things like that back when they were in Redskins but that was like a previous lifetime okay. now um, speaking of kids, how old are your kids now? Uh, my oldest, uh, Cole, is uh, just turned 13. He's in 7th yeah. grade, and my youngest will be 10 in January, yeah. so he's in 4th grade, two boys. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Michelle's doing well. Everybody's doing really well. Good. Thank you. Good, 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 good. So, tell us about what you do. What is your role with Primerica? So, Karen, I'm a, a regional vice president at Primerica. Uh, basically, I'm a full-time agent. I'm licensed in uh, many different products, uh, life insurance, investments, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I have an office in Troy. Uh, I've been there now about six years, and I've been in the business a little over 10 years. So. Okay, great. Well, I know you've helped um, many friends and family, um, and they all love and trust you, and, and that's fantastic. What's the ideal client for you? Uh, that's a really good question, Karen. I, I don't have one specialty niche, but I like to work with uh, the working families. You know, I like to, we, we call them the five pointers in our, in our, what I'm looking for. So someone that's married, somebody has kids, somebody that owns a home, someone that's working or saving for their future. If I can sit down with that family and uh, take a look at their finances and, and make improvements on how they can either save more money or make more money, uh, that's my number one goal. Oh, nice. So what would you say to someone who's just getting out of college? Start saving, right? Start. You, <laughs> yes. can, you never can uh, start too soon. Uh -huh. I understand, uh, you know, being in college myself and having some student loans that it could be, uh, you know, exciting and scary at the same time. And it's a, it's a kind of a weight on, on, on people's shoulders. Uh -huh. So what, what I do with a, a new person that just graduated is just, uh, you know, remind them that I am there for support. We can help figure out uh, how to pay off their debts, you know, in, in, a, in a certain manner and, and to just teach them the importance of, you know, saving for that next big thing, you know, saving for a house, saving for maybe a future family. And uh, and then obviously if, if they're at a, a job, they start contributing to their 401ks or, yeah. or start an individual retirement account. Yeah. Well, and speaking of retirement, um, and I know we're touching on a lot of different people in different stages of life, right. but you know, we've talked about families and we've talked about uh, kids maybe just joining the workforce and graduating college and getting rid of student loans. Right. Um, what about the people who are taking uh, retirement packages right now? Now that since we're in an area of uh, a lot of automotive in this area, um, people are the union negotiations are getting wrapped up yeah. and people are taking their packages for retirement. What is some advice that you could give to those people? Yeah, please just talk to a financial advisor, mm -hmm. right? We are, it's our job to help make sure that uh, someone never outlives their money, right? So yeah. usually when somebody gets a buyout package, they're, they have a choice of taking a lump sum mm -hmm. or a kind of a, a monthly or yearly installment to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, uh, it takes a little bit of calculations to figure out what's in that person's best interest. And everybody's situation is unique, 
right? Some people it might make sense to take the lump sum, um, right? If they've done a good job of saving up up to that point, right? Yeah. And then that can use that money to invest in different areas. Some people need that money right away that they haven't been able to save a whole lot over time yeah. and that monthly installment will really help them. But there's a lot of financial products out there that uh, with proper guidance, they can, uh, I will help them get to that decision. Yeah. I mean, ultimately it's their decision, but present the information to them to figure out what makes the most sense for yeah. their families. So um, I believe a great portion of your business is life insurance. It is. How does life insurance fit in the retirement investment savings life plan? That's, a, that's an excellent question, Karen. So I believe that uh, everybody's finances are kind of intertwined. I call it like a financial house, mm -hmm. right? As a real estate agent, I'm sure you'll appreciate that. And life insurance, I believe, is the foundation of, of every house because especially when you're younger and don't, and you may have a, you know debts with the mortgage and younger kids and dependents and, and may not have a whole lot saved up yet, mm -hmm. right? So life insurance is there to insure income, okay? If, People, I think, tend to look at life insurance as something when you need at burial time, when they're much older in life, but it was actually created to ensure someone's income. So as long as uh, a dependent or is, is you know, requ uh, needing your income to come in or relying on your income to come in, that's what we're trying to ensure yet. Mm -hmm. So when you're alive, you have the ability to make money, right? Now, how much is uh, debatable, but... When that income stops, unfortunately, people's living expenses don't stop. Yeah. People still have to usually live at their mortgage, pay the mortgage, they have property taxes, they have utilities, they have everything else. Yeah. So I think when I sit down with somebody, I wanna make sure that they have the proper amount of life insurance that in that unforeseen circumstances where they do pass, so if they do pass away, we're all gonna die, right? right. At some point, yeah. we just don't know when. Except me, you live forever. <laughs> Except you, you're gonna live forever. <laughs> but my job is to kind of figure out to make sure that they have the proper protection when they're younger and need it, and then yeah. as they get older and closer to retirement, it may or may not need it. It just depends upon what their, what their situation yeah. is. Well, it sounds like you are able to take someone's situation and give them um, all around, you know, overall advice on everything that they should be considering um, and just help them make smart choices. Absolutely. Yeah. Just present, so. educate, show them options and let mm -hmm. them decide what's best for them. Great. Well, so we only have a minute left. I want to talk about how we met. So okay. I remember I was sitting at our other office in Rochester and it was probably around this time of year and uh, the phone rang and it was you and you were calling me, inviting me to um, visit a BNI chapter that you were forming. You were, you were heading it up with one other person yeah. and um, I remember the call and you, you said something to me about, you know, are you looking to grow your business? And this was a long, long time ago and of course I'm, we're always looking to grow our businesses. But um, I was busy or in my mind, I felt like I was right. just a little too busy to attend a meeting and I thought, oh, it's just one of those networking things. What a waste of time, you know. So I, I said, no, um, I don't think so. I don't think I have time. And you said the key question, and that was? Do you know somebody else that might be looking for some referrals because we are interested in passing referrals to a real estate agent? Yeah, that was a killer. So, um, so thank you because we've now known each other for, I looked it up, it's been almost 11 years yep. and uh, the time has gone by very fast and um, it has really helped my business grow tremendously and how is it, has it helped your business Absol at all? Absolutely. I, I literally would say at least 30% of my business comes in from BNI or yeah. uh, BNI affiliation. Okay. Yeah, right. absolutely. Well, and you know, we have so many other members in our group and what we do is we meet every Tuesday morning at seven o'clock here at this office and um, our meetings run from seven until 8.30 sharp because we all have a very busy day. Yeah. I know I've got clients waiting for me and things like that, and I'm sure you do too. So, um, so we're out the door and uh, on with the rest of our day by 8:30. So, yeah. thank you so much for introducing me to BNI. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad you could make it and that we could sit by the fire yeah. and, and chat and you know have the candle going and um, get ready for the holidays. So, thanks for having me. Bye.